Hey fans, welcome back to Primo Reef Acrylics. Today we have another sump build. This sump may look a little small from where you are looking at, but from where I am looking at, it's pretty gigantic. So, what we have here is a 150 gallon sump. Uh, the measurements are 60 inches in length, 24 inches in width, and 24 inches high. Uh, pretty big system. This sump is actually going to be for a saltwater fish only system that is going to measure about, well, gallon wise, it will be anywhere from 800 to 1000 gallon system, which uh, are in the works. So, let's see what happens with that. Pretty small sump uh, for that type of system. Well, actually, it's a very sufficient sump. Um, sometimes you don't actually need to go too big of a sump for the size of tank you have. It really depends on what type of filtrations you have. You can try to compact something in a thousand gallon aquarium for a system that has many and multiple stages of filtration. So, the way the sump is going to be started is. Um, Starting off from the right hand side into the second chamber into the last chamber. Now you're probably thinking where the heck is the skimmer? That's right, the skimmer is a pretty, it's a five foot tall skimmer for that uh, 800,000 gallon system. That is going to be situated externally and I'll probably post another video on where the sump is going to be sitting and the quarantine setup that this client does have. Um, I'm really impressed with the client's quarantine system. He really takes care of his uh, fish. Um, and I've seen some of the healthiest purple tanks, blue powder tank, uh, you name it. So I'll update you on that afterwards for another video. But going forward with this, we got um, six inches of gap in the front. This is to accommodate future changes to the sump that we actually have the room for it. And following through, we have three inserts or compartments as you guys can see from your end. Now this is, they're pretty much eight crates. So eight crates, um, and what we're going to be positioning in between, or sandwiching in between here are going to be filter floss. So uh, different grade filter floss, and actually we're going to com uh, compress the filter socks, uh, sorry, the filter floss into multiple stages. So for example, we may start the first filter floss uh, chamber or slot here with maybe... Uh, a four ply so four ply is indicating that we're gonna have a filter floss that's gonna be overlapped four times going forward we may overlap this three times and then this one or two times so you get multiple stages what I like about this filter floss uh, idea is that for ease of maintenance what you're gonna do is obviously when the filter floss is inside it's gonna actually expand as much as possible so it's all lined up with uh, the acrylic baffles that I have here but the good thing about it squeeze them together and it actually pulls right out and you can actually go ahead maintain service wash whatever you want with it so which, which is a very very good idea that I found and again sliding it back I'm doing it with one hand so it's a little bit of a trouble but yeah when you do it with two hands it's actually much better but anyways that's it so the water actually is gonna go down the system into a two inch wide gap over and then it's going to trickle down into another filter floss section where we have quarter inch holes so these are a lot of holes that I've actually put in there close to I believe it's about four or five hundred holes uh, don't ask they were actually hand drilled so to both top and bottom so the top is quarter inch the bottom is half inch and um, so it's going to be trickled down into a bio area where we're going to have a substrate of rocks, pebbles, or special substrates that actually remove nitrates and ammonia and other harmful chemicals that may endanger or damage our, our, our fishes or livestock in the system. At the bottom we have uh, one inch acrylic tubes that are holding the entire bottom plate in stock. We have a little knob there so what that knob does or before we get jumped to that knob um, the way you remove the top plate is pretty much you have these acrylic gap so I have one here and one on the other side right there so it, the, the, the plate is actually pretty heavy so let even with one hand it's definitely possible to pull it right out wash maintain service this again so that easily comes off the bottom section here uh, again that knob that you've seen from the front it's actually just 
pulls this out and then we can definitely take the bottom plate right out to again clean or if there's anything trapped below that we want to get to it comes easily off. The top plate is actually held on by half inch acrylic that's welded on on three sides. Three sides is sufficient enough to hold most of the stuff. It really it's not going to go anywhere. To put it back into place again all I'm going to do is line up the gaps, slide that in, voila and we're done. Um, coming forward so the water again is going to triple from the top, trickle from the top, head to the bottom and then head towards the left into an upwards uh, motion there and then fall over this entire I believe it's a 14 inch gap by 24 23 inches wide and we're gonna have the return chamber situation uh, situated in this area right here uh, return chamber and probably some other stuff we may have to drill a hole at the back of this because I believe we have a 150 gallon uh, tub where we're gonna have uh, enormous or, or large volume of macro algae which you actually want to grow like bubble algae will have maybe a couple rats in there or coco copa pods to actually grow out so it's a very self-driven system I really like the way this is set up I'm really pleased with the owner and uh, again going to these meets with him and to discuss what's the best possible way uh, just want to show you a little bit of a, a quality build here so everything is polished off it's all reflection we got red vinyl at the top at the bottom which is why the top of the face are actually lighting up with red so let me show you from the front view that's just to give you a little quality idea guys so as you can see the the seams are pretty much transparent you can't see anything in there as for a couple tiny uh, micro bubbles you really can't even see the bubbles but I see them really not a dangerous thing but overall this is just to show you the quality of it guys everything just reflects right out so you have 100% seams and this stuff will never give away unless you take a sledgehammer to it that too you may just crack it so going forward I'm gonna add something else to this <clears throat> just when you thought everything was done nah -uh. so what if the filter flosses don't work? What if we have a bio load in the system um, of about 800 gallon tank and we have X amount of fishes or overstock of fishes and they're creating a lot of waste because I mean to take a completely four, five, six large angels in a large system like that we're not really sure exactly what bio load is going to carry so what if we need to filter it more? Great, so what we have now is remove this plate we're left with two filter floss areas and what we're going to slide in now is let me try to do this one hand, it's pretty heavy uh, we have a filter sock slide on so that's going to slide right in so we have 7 inch filter socks we can actually purchase these at different microns to filter out different stages so that goes right in there as you can see the top plate of the filter floss is held on by these half inch um, I don't know sticks that are glued onto the front plane and the back plane so technically you can really put a lot of pressure on this and it's not going to go anywhere so the size is pretty much that's just, just the way it's hung on so now we have four compartments now let's just say for example we're not too happy with the filter floss maybe the maintenance got ten times more maybe in a week you gotta clean it out every day we're not really sure exactly how it's gonna work so what do we do then okay we go ahead we take these inserts completely right out okay so now we're left with an empty gap not really <coughs> ah sorry guys just a little cold but now we can slide on a four filter sock compartment where now you can have 200 microns 400 microns depending on what you need so again full four filter socks that will easily slide into place and again um, the overflow section is comp there so in case all the four filter socks do clog, clog up I mean there's a gap there and also there's a gap at the top so I call these a floating baffles the reason why we have floating baffles starting from the top to the bottom is because of stability you want to actually have the front plane of the acrylic sheet to hold on as much as possible so yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys do like the video. Again, this is something different. When this is in operations, I will probably post a video on this. So 
many of you can see exactly how it's going to be plumbed and working so it's another project may take a while so cross your fingers and uh, just lock yourself in for a completely giant build in here well here in Toronto let me just show you a side angle <clears throat> okay this is what we provide Primo Eve acrylics high-end quality very finished stuff um, again I know I repeated this in the past before, but just want to let you know the client had requested only clear acrylic. Uh, that's just due to financial difficulties because of a uh, gigantic bill and there's a lot of finances being put into equipment that you need. So for me, you know what, I went ahead, gave this client free color to the sump and uh, he hasn't seen this yet. So I hope he really enjoys this when I deliver it tomorrow. And uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions regarding sumps or aquariums, you can log on to www.primoreefacrylics.com and fill out the sump or quotation form and I'll be more than happy to get back to you as my at the earliest convenience so and a, a very competitive price. Okay, if, uh, we do have an online store. Again, it's primoreefacrylics.com. You can check out the Facebook channel for way more videos. Uh, sorry, way more pictures. Okay, guys, thank you for watching Primo Reef Acrylics. Primo Reef and Acrylics, slurring my words today and have yourself a wonderful day.